This is Code, Conspiracy of a Dead Man from the Speaking Code podcast. Uh, you guys are going to be listening to episode six. Um, we're going to do this in a two-part series. So um, we're going to drop this one Tuesday, and we will drop uh, part two on Thursday. But uh, this one, please enjoy. It was We talked a bunch of stuff about aliens, UFOs, uh, even interdimensional beings slash interdimensional demons, uh, ETVs, ET phone home. Uh, we talked a little bit about Anunnaki and and just a bunch of other stuff about advanced civilization, transhumanism, reptilians. We even got into a little bit of time travel. So uh, enjoy the show. of our podcast and we're going to be talking about UFOs and aliens if they exist if you all believe in them and I don't think code does so we'll start with you with me okay. yeah so I've come to the conclusion that anytime I delete an episode I come back even stronger and deeper no I'm just kidding uh <laughs> oh no I wish uh I, I think I could come back with some better questions. So I feel like sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. I... Okay. So anyway. Well, then um, I'll, I'll move it over then. No, I'll move no, it over to TBD. Oh, no, it's too late. I'm moving it. Shit, then. <laughs> TBD. Theodore Dinamite. Yes, sir. UFOs and aliens. Do they exist? Do you believe in them? Yes, I do. Aliens All right. for sure. I believe there's other life out there. I don't think we're alone. Whether they are four, three foot tall with green heads and go <laughs> <laughs> or, or whether they're orange with three breastuses and fight Arnold Schwarzenegger or whether they just look like us. Like Mort. Mark? Mort. Mort. Oh! Wow. No, 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 no. Not, <laughs> I forgot about that. Or Alf. They oh. could be little fur balls that eat cats. Yeah. I think there's a possibility. Can I prove it? Can other people prove it? Do people say they've seen them? Yes. Mm-hmm. No to that I can prove it, but yes, the people say they've seen them. I think it's possible that other life has come here, and whether they stayed or are still here or are still manipulating us, possibly. It's it's a high likelihood. Like, who's to say we're the most advanced in the universe? We could still be in our infancy compared to other life forms. Um, until I see proof, will I believe they're here? Mm, my eyes are still open in case, but I'm not gonna, you know, wander blindly into the light like Carol Ann. <laughs> Poltergeist? Oh, all right. Don't go into the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> <laughs> I watch too many movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... To our listeners that have listened to previous episodes, we talked about the Anunnaki and how they could possibly have been aliens from another planet coming to collect resources. So, again, that would be an advanced civilization, another intelligence out there. So, do I think the UFOs that have been spotted are aliens? I think it's technology from our government and others that they don't want us to know about. And they're testing and didn't hope we weren't paying attention. Nah, I mean, I'm not saying that some of them couldn't be un- unidentified flying objects, but it's rare. It's funny, not rare. It's funny how more and more keep popping up lately. And we're just, oh, yeah, that's unidentified. We don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. Yet, 
some look like stuff we've seen in all type of sci-fi movies, military movies. So, oh, yeah, look at this fighter drone. They're like, oh, yeah, that's only in the movies. And then, what, 10 years later, they reveal, oh, yeah, we, we built that. We use that now. So wh who's to say in another 10 years, you know, when we're all starting to turn gray, that these unidentified flying objects aren't new military aircrafts, whether they're manned or unmanned. Like it a lot. <laughs> oh, like a lot. What about you, Code? Anything yet? Uh, so I feel like I would take it into a different direction. Mm -hmm. So take us there. Okay. So I feel that aliens could be interdimensional beings, um, like demons, Ooh. and then they they show a face or their faces, I guess, so to speak. Of like, this is what we are. Like, believe in us to get us to not believe in a higher power. Oh, okay. You know? um, so they show a face and they go, we're from somewhere else. We could tell you what, what the actual, like, what created the earth? What created this world? You know, what created this universe and all this stuff? You know, all the different planets. Maybe Earth 2. Maybe they're from Earth 2. And then and that was the cataclysm where Earth 2 collided with Earth 1. And those guys fell off onto their earth, and ours fell off onto ours, and then we separated. And Mandela effect? No. <laughs> no not no, to go not, down that rabbit hole. No, not that it yeah. is Mandela effect. That oh, wait, Earth's wait, wait. colliding. Mandela <laughs> Sounds like you're saying a Mandela effect. <laughs> you're mumbling. <laughs> I may have mumbled. <laughs> you're having a stroke. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I think that they could be uh, interdimensional beings, mm -hmm. um, or, in, or also known as demons. That are like disguising themselves to be that way. Um, the other thing too that I was thinking about, I was going to mention this to you earlier, but I didn't want spoiler alert. Um, we know more about our space and our galaxy and outer space and all that stuff than we do our own oceans. So I'm wondering if some of these, when you said the water part, I'm wondering if not, not if they live under our in our oceans. But what if that's why people go to Antarctica all the time? And we could slowly transition into that in another episode one day. Okay. But uh, I'm wondering, if like, they do all these meetings. They have all these peace treaties type stuff. You know, they're, they're not allowed to do anything in Antarctica, like, war-wise. Out of all the countries in the world, like, there's a peace treaty down there. And very heavyweight politicians go down there okay. quite often. And you don't know why. So it's like... Maybe they're cloning. Maybe they have alienware <laughs> computers that can help you clone people. Or maybe that's just where they're like being like, I, I don't know. I just think that the aliens are there. If they are here, I think that they are there. But I don't think that they're, I think that they're interdimensional beings or demons that can lead into a potential hollow earth. And that's where they stay. And the only way to get down there is through mining. Or, um, not mining, mining, but like going through Antarctica. Like oh. if we're already there and we have all these things, nobody's allowed to go down there. The only time you're allowed to do a trip to Antarctica, you have to pay like $25,000 to be able to even do a trip by helicopter. And they don't even take you around the whole thing. They just take you to the ice wall to show you that the Earth's flat and that's about it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about flat Earth and hollow Earth in another episode, I'm sure. Um, possibly. Uh, episode eight, but who knows? We'll we'll see where this one goes. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, if aliens and all that UFOs are just future us humans coming Ooh. back, like the Anunnaki left and made and maybe brought a few secretaries with them, and then they're like, we're gonna show you our ways on our planet, and then when you're ready, we'll we'll show you how to get back to yours. No, I think he's been, he means... No, like, like us, time. like future human beings like us now. Oh, so time Future time. coming back, yeah. Ain't nobody got time travel for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, have you seen the movie Interstellar? No. Mm, I don't, who's in that one? Add it to the Matthew McConaughey. Uh, Matt okay. Damon, yeah. He's in it too, Matt Damon. No, I have not. Hmm. All right, add it to the watch list. Okay. Um, but what about that? What if it's just future us coming back? I would believe that. In Those time. Just identified, so they're what? Future aircrafts that we know nothing about? 
Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden, them popping in the sky is them coming. But what, what are they doing when they come back? Changing things? Chilling. Chilling? Yeah, what if it's coming back just because we can? Yeah, it would almost be like if we went back in time to see the planet where it had like nothing here. Play net. Oh, play net. Play net. <laughs> I was going to say vacation. <laughs> What if in the future, you know, we go to Hawaii, we go to Cancun, we go to Aruba, Paris, England. Yeah, like instead that. of going places, you go to winds. Mm. Yeah. What? Exactly. Like, I want to go to Hawaii in like 95 and you go because I guess the death of Selena wasn't important to you or something. <laughs> it could be. Think about it. it. When we were kids, computers were just first coming out. So every time yeah. we did a project, instead of going to the library and get a book, we went to Ask Jeeves, we went to Google, we went to all these search engines to find out. Mm-hmm. Now, the future is so advanced when kids go, well, we want to know about the Treaty oh. of 1777. The Bigfoot Treaty of 1777. <laughs> <laughs> and then kids go, okay. And then in their thing, they, they have these little... What if it's a field trip? Miss Frizzle done figured out fucking time travel. Oh. And <laughs> instead of shrinking down and going to the body, she's just bringing people back and watching history. On their bodies. <laughs> I like you that can theory. Keep it. You can keep it. <laughs> she had an iguana. Think, think about that. That mm-hmm. would be amazing. Like I'm a little bit jealous. Like yeah, they go. You won't believe what happened. Like like for example, I'll just say this with history. We don't like hmm. the best way that I could explain it is how we learn about history. Now, yes. right. You have history that they're like, you know what, this happened, this happened, this happened. And you're like, all right, I got to believe you because you wrote it in the books. But what if things are changing? You know how like weird and drastic things have changed recently? Yeah. Or of late? Like, I won't get into it too much. But let's just say you wanted to tell people that the sky was blue, right? Uh Uh-huh. And then they go, no, man, you don't remember? The sky was red and purple. It wasn't blue. And you're like, there's no way. And then all of a sudden, they start creating more. They go back in time. They do chemtrails, and they change history for themselves. So what if they're changing our history Mm -hmm. so that way our history lines up with their history books? And our times could be the craziest times where they could be like, yeah, there were no genders. There were no, like, weird things like that. And then they take us to this time, and then they show people people that are having weird situations. Yeah, people with blonde wigs, but they're bald, really. (laughs) (laughs) I could I could see that being possible. They yeah. say history is written by the victors. The victors have the time machine. They are coming back and making history what they want. I think the his, the history is written by the rich. Which one? Which would be the winners? <laughs> yeah. Oh, those nerdy people, freaking Bill Gates. He's not a victor. He's a freaking turd. But he's rich. He's got moves and a pregnant belly. <laughs> but he's rich. Yeah. What better way to win over everybody else mm. than having more money, more power, more control? Yeah, that's true. So now, do you think that there? So you, TBD said that he thinks that there's multiple kinds. Do you think there's only one kind? Do you think it's like um, uh, John Carter, where all of them look like us? They just have blue blood. Ooh. Do they have the same blood as us because they're us in the future? Or do you think that they've modified themselves so much that they're they're slightly different in, in better and in worse ways, like? For example, if they go to the future and they go, you know what, we want to be smaller and more compact, but then they have sleep apnea like a pug, you know, or are they like tall and jacked, but then you're like, oh, their joints are bad. So then they had to come up with a happy medium. So they're not like Andre the Giant or Dolph Lundgren where he like loses to Rocky because he's got smaller stature. (laughs) Stature. He's a machine. I mean, if we're throwing time travel in there and advanced technology, I don't see why not. Yeah. Um, I think they're different kinds. Oh, different. Okay, different kinds of aliens. I'm thinking different types, yeah. of, types of time travel. Oh. It's like what? <laughs> well, and then even even with the aliens, like I said, we don't know how further along, how much advanced yeah. they are compared to us. So, so not to go on too much of a tangent with time travel, but somebody explained how you won't be able to go to the future, and you won't be able to go back all the way to the past. But you'll be able to go to the past where the time travel time travel was created. So maybe they can only the future of future whenever that happens or whenever what line of time space and continuums or whatever we're on. 
um, they could only travel back far enough to when tra time travel was created. Because any further back, there wouldn't be technology for it to work. Or, yeah, for them to land. You're like, uh, like what's his name? The Doth and Marty McFly. They landed, oh. but then they didn't have any garbage to put in their oh, particle restart. collider. Yeah. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, I can't remember it. Yeah. At this moment. Somebody tell us in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. So, and, and my thing too, like, <clears throat> I always, I feel like I always have to go back to, like, the idea of the Anunnaki was cool with the idea that they were potentially um, the fallen angels. Yeah. So, you know how they have, like, you've been seeing it on Instagram lately, where they're like, we asked AI what, yes. like, Mortal Kombat characters, what kind of, like, basketball shoes they would wear, you yes. know, or create a basketball shoe based off of the Mortal Kombat character. So then they show the Mortal Kombat character, and then they show the shoe that they created. You know, like, it would be like a Nike or Adidas or something like that, but then it would look like Reptile. Yeah. Or they would have another one that looked like Raiden with, like, electricity all around it, and it just, like, zips up by, like, pushing the electric push button. Um, I want a pair of those. That would be sick. Some of them look so <laughs> dope, man. Like, I don't know what AI thing that they're creating, but I think we're way past that. And who knows? Maybe the AI is coming back here to change what we're doing. Skynet is taking over. Yeah, and like we have no control over like what's gonna happen. Like we're making podcasts about it, but other than that, like nothing we can do. But uh, so anyway, somebody asked. They said, "Hey, what will the aliens look like when they come to visit us? If they come and visit us, and they all look like Anunnaki Egyptian god types." And I'm like, "What if? What if that is like the fallen angels? They take over that area. They get worshipped like gods." And then they they go into hiding. So it's like I almost wonder if the Anunnaki are here. They're not gone, but they're hiding in hollow earth or like in Antarctica. Let me throw another one at you. Let's go with your theory. It's the Anunnaki coming back. Yeah. Is it the same Anunnaki that encountered us before? Or are these descendants of those original Anunnaki? Uh, maybe a little bit of both. Maybe they're sending their descendants to the meetings place. Okay. So, like, the Anunnaki were, let's just say the fallen angels or the watchers, right? They can't die. They're from heaven. They're angels. Yeah. They're, they've been around for the beginning of time, pretty much. So, they're not dying. They have to hide out and tell secrets. So, maybe these secret societies or these rich and famous people go down there to meet and understand their relatives, uh, their descendants. They're already descendants so of maybe the original these, like, Anunnaki. Some politicians uh, or some of these. It's not that they became giants. Not all of them become giants. You know, that was like a case of some. Yeah. But what if they spread their, <clears throat> their uh, DNA down and they're trying to keep their bloodline strong, which is why some of these, that's why they'll, like you'll hear Sam Tripoli and stuff mentioned, like the reptilians. David Icke talks about the reptilians and stuff. Yeah. Where what if, they were like the demons. They were passed down from demons. And that's a different type of person or a different type of whatever you would call it. Like a, a demon or a, uh, a descendant. descendant. Maybe, okay. Yeah, maybe like the reptilian version is a descendant as well. Because oh. he tries to talk about in his book that people have a left and right brain, right? Yes. And your left brain is more uh, free will, I think, sort of, so to speak. And like your other side is more reptilian. So violence gets you pumped. That's the reptilian side. Where love and compassion is more like your human side. So he kind of explains how everybody has like a little bit of both or we've evolved from these reptilian people and we've tr we've tried to get further and further away from it. And that's why like um, calcifying the pineal gland was trying to make it so like, like fluoride in the water or fluoride and everything, the toothpaste, all yeah. these different things cal calcify and harden your pineal gland to stop you from being able to like reach that level of not being uh, uh, reptilian, that reptilian side, which okay. I think those could be like aliens too, kind of like uh, King Koopa and the Goombas from from the Mario. Mario. How those were like the reptil, they looked more like that, like that type of reptilian, and they're able to disguise themselves or cloak to be able to show their presence and stuff yeah. uh, in in human form. 
but then sometimes if they're in that form too much, like shapeshifters, yeah, they're not able to hold that shape. And so you'll get glimpses of their real self. Or if they're on TV, you know how we were talking about before where Bigfoot or some of these uh, beings, maybe they can cloak themselves to certain things or like cameras only catch them fuzzy where there's been interviews with people and they're like, they're like, that person's like a reptilian. Their face starts to pixelate on the screen. And you're like, is that a glitch from the camera? Or is that a way that they cloak and it keeps them from turning all the way back to a reptilian? Uh, okay. But the camera's catching them trying to hold that position for too long. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. You ever heard of that at all, Chente? Nah, that's bullshit. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. That's very interesting. I've been learning like it from uh, Isaac Weihop's book. I'm finally getting to the reptilian and transhumanism. Which, which, which I think is really cool too. The transhumanism part is like they're they're trying to get us to get like these chips in our brains, you know, chips in our palms to pay for things, chips in our brains so we don't feel pain, you know, and we could be, um, like we're gonna we're they're gonna start making people half human, half machine, cyborgs. Uh, yes, and eventually it's gonna take over. Like who knows? What if you get a what if you get like a new arm, you know, and or like for example, they're gonna start slow. They're going to start where, like, your uh, – say you, you have a spinal spinal issue where you're not – It's spinal. Uh, you're not able to, like um, – <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just – I, I did my Steve Urkel, Mike, Mike Tyson. It's spinal. I don't oh, know okay. what to do. But, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. but anyway, um, if, if you have, like, an injury of some sort, of course you would want to walk again. Or you would want to walk. You've never walked before. You're going to be able to walk. So you're going to get these superhumans. That were like way stronger, way faster, and you're gonna be like, that guy was a paraplegic before. Yeah. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. It's like a miracle. They're trying to play God with certain things. And it's funny, I can believe that because mm -hmm. we're already doing it with deaf people. Yes, and they're blind. Doing, they're doing it with blind people too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I mean, I, they're they're making it so blind people can see. I think they they use other people's eyes. I don't know about machines, but there's glasses I think that help with that too. Oh, okay, I didn't know. There's that. glasses that help with color blindness, so people like me can actually see red and green and separate. Wait, you're colorblind? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. So you can enjoy Christmas. Yes. Oh. And a margarita pizza. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't just look tan. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. your favorite color is light tan. <laughs> yeah. Light tan. It's like a, a beige. <laughs> you're different. <laughs> You're the definition of the world of grades. Yes. Fifty nah. Shades of Code. <laughs> no. Oh, look at a new book. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's my memoir. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Code. Fifty what? Shades of Conspiracy of a Dead Man. And most dead people are gray. Ish. Grayish. Gray. They're in that spectrum. It depends on how soon you find them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, so uh, with the so I think what they're going to eventually start doing is they're going to. Uh, they're going to make it so the rich are going to – first, it's going to happen for these people that that are having issues, born this way, disabled or whatever the case. And then the rich are going to start doing it to themselves. And then they're going to finally – once the rich do it first and they go, this is amazing. You know, I'm living longer. I'm doing this and that. They're going to be considered and categorized as like superhuman or modified. So you're going to have people that are – that are uh, kind of like so you have athletes and you have people that aren't athletes. Yeah. You're gonna now you're gonna have these super athletes, and it's gonna be people that were paraplegic prior, and now they they have all the abilities, so they're gonna put in all the work because before they couldn't. Yep. And then of course you're gonna have people that are just lazy and NPCs anyway. <laughs> but um, I think what it goes what ends up happening is people are gonna be like I want to do that, so then they start getting these things added to themselves to make themselves better. Yeah, just like the the uh there's a cyberpunk. Yeah. Did you see that uh there's an anime called Cyberpunk 2 where it's it's a video game. Yeah. yeah, but it but he tried I don't know if it's the same but he just has to like get better and stronger and bigger and stronger and faster. Yeah. So he gets all these extra modifications to himself. Yeah. But then once you do all that What's to say that Bill Gates doesn't already have a virus created, so then he can sell you the antivirus? Well, what's to say that they already, they already don't have a digital copy of us anyway? Like, like 23 and me? Well, altered carbon. I'm not well, everything, like, multi, um, 
with uh, social media and all that and all the data mining and shit going on, they know yeah. everything about us. When people take those surveys and everything. Yeah, the, oh, what's your favorite pet? What's this? What's yeah. that? What, what, if, you like? what if the Anunnaki have been changing and from the beginning it was mining for gold? Now it's mining for data on. Maybe that's what the yeah. gold was, Brad. Well, it, in, the, is power. in motherboards, it's got a lot of gold. Yes. Yeah. Computers. So uh, the other idea too, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but like they showed a side by side of like a motherboard, uh-huh. and then the uh, aerial view of um, Egypt with all the pyramids, and they looked like they matched all these different motherboards. In Mexico too. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Huh. So it's like you you see that and you're like, what if we're the motherboard of this piece? Or just glitching out, I don't know. Could be. I do have a, like a touchy question for this. In our current world, we have divides. Rich, poor. I thought you black. said the vines. I was no, like, no, divide. they got rid of vines. We just talked about this five years ago. <laughs> no, no, divides. <laughs> oh, separation. Okay. You know, rich, poor, black, white, male, female. Do you think... I know it will be popular if that happens. Like, you can alter yourself, make yourself walk, make yourself skinny with just a simple surgery and a press of a button or a thought. Yeah. Do you think there will be, like, I don't know, quite say a war, but uh, I will just stick to a divide between the, the normal and the altered? Yeah, of course. But the, the, the poor are going to have to hide so that way they don't get just wiped out. You know, like, if you think about it, it would almost be like, um, they didn't want to do anything. Like, it's it's almost going to be like, um, the organic and the unorganic. Exactly. And people are going to be like, oh, I never did anything to my body. I'm organic. Yes. And then you're going to be trying to compete with people in sports, and you're going to be like, this isn't fair. They're freaking, they're, they're modified, GMO. I mean, because we, we go through that now with people taking steroids and people being trans. And then, you know, I was a man as a swimmer and I was at the bottom of a class. I had this surgery and took these medicines to become a woman and now I'm at the top of the class. What if he was horrible at swimming and he just did that yeah. as an excuse and he still sucks? <laughs> that would be <laughs> hilarious, actually. But so we. Fallon we, Fox? Oh, for the MMA, yeah. Remember, she used to beat the crap out of dudes? Or, dude, she, he used to be the crap out of... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm confused. But think about that. So now we're able to, for whatever amount of money, go and get these chips or these alterations, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, so now my muscles have less recovery time when I work out. Or my it takes less cardio for me to do what this guy does. And now they're competing in sports and even the job market. Yeah. So I'm... I mean, you were able to like lift heavy stuff. And exactly. You don't need a forklift. I could just grab this and jump up and put it away. Exactly. So now you're just a racing job. We kind of talked about mm-hmm. that. I don't know if we touched about it on an episode or just in private with the AI technology you're talking about. Yeah. There's a lot of artists and writers that could be put out of business from technology like that. Yep. So who's to say like that couldn't start another world war again, altered versus organic? Mm-hmm. thought for the day. Whichever seeds in your mind you water, those will be the ones that grow. This is Chente the homie. Deuce. This is Theodore Dean Mite telling you to have a good night. And this is Code. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I look forward to you guys listening to uh, part two. So, good night.